There are three tank engines who work on the Forest Light Railway, and their names are Don, Pam, and Sadie. Every day of the year, the engines travel up and down the line giving rides to enthusiasts or delivering goods to local towns, come rain or shine. One morning, the engines were being prepared for the day ahead when Mr Harris arrived. It was his job to give the engines their jobs and to make sure everything ran to time. Good morning everyone! I hope you all had a good night's sleep as it will be another busy day. Pav, you will be taking a goods train to Apple Green Junction. Sadie, you will be supplies to Castle Croft. And Dom, you will be running passenger services. <laughs> that is all for today. Work well and do everyone proud. And Mr Harris walked away to his office. However, Dom wasn't feeling up to it. Huh. <sighs> Of course it has to be me who gets the passenger runs. What's wrong with that, Dom? I thought you liked travelling through the countryside. No, no, it's not that, Pav. It's the passengers themselves. They don't know how to respect ascensions, and some always cause trouble or annoy others. Younger ones are the worst. Well, look on the bright side. You feel alive pulling a train. Hmm, you're right there, Sadie. M maybe I'm taking this too seriously. What keeps a passenger happy is their train is running on time. I'll see you guys later. That morning, Dom arrived at Apple Green Junction, the main station where both the railway and main line met. He backed down onto his coaches as the passengers got on board. They do seem to be excited. Best not do anything that could spoil their day. But he said that to himself. Dom was soon travelling through the countryside. He kept at a steady pace, the coaches followed along smoothly, and the sunny air couldn't help but brighten up his journey. Hmm, beautiful day it is. Sun's out, skies are blue. So far, no trouble from the passengers. I guess today will be a good day. But he had spoken too soon. As Dom was passing the sheds, he heard a bang noise coming from the coaches. What's that banging? Are one of the carriage's axles loose or something? Oh, wait a minute. It's not what I think, is it? The banging in question was younger children kicking the seats in one of the carriages. Their parents had told them to stop, but they kept on doing it. To them, it seemed like fun, but it was starting to annoy Dom, and he was yeah. beginning to lose patience. At the next station, Dom was refilling his tank when Pav stopped by on the opposite side with his trucks. Hey Dom, how's your day going? What do you think? I'll take that as a it was to begin with but now became a bad one. Too right. If you want to know why, it was because some passengers were kicking their seats. I think I heard them laughing while doing it. Oh, come on now Dom, they're just little ones. Yes, but they should listen to grown-ups and learn what's right and wrong. Ignoring them was definitely wrong. Well, there is one way of dealing with it. What's that? Tolerate it. Sorry I can't stay any longer. Must keep to time. I'll chat to you later, Dom. Later, as they continued along the line, Dom thought back at what Pav said. Pav does have a point. And I do see a lot of people putting up with problems like this. Hmm. I guess I could do the same and- OW! What was that? Huh? Where did that come from? Oh, for goodness sake. THEM AGAIN! Right, that does it! When I get to the next station, I'm so gonna give those little hooligans a piece of my mind! Dom was so busy thinking what he would say to the passengers that he didn't see the signal telling him to stop. Sadie was waiting on the same line for her goods to be unloaded when she heard Dom approaching very fast. Dom! Dom! Dom slammed on his brakes and came to a sharp stop. The coaches bumped and bashed behind him, 
jolting some of the passengers from their seats. But luckily, both Loco and coaches stayed on the rails. Both Dom and Sadie were surprised and relieved that nobody was hurt. Dom, what were you thinking when you ran over the red signal? You could have derailed both of us if you hadn't stopped. I'm sorry, Sadie, but I was distracted by those passengers' irresponsibility. Kicked the seats, laughed so hard when one of them threw an empty can at me. How really stupid of them. Now do you see why I don't look forward to pulling passenger trains? Sadie now fully understood the reasons, as did the passengers. The ones that caused the trouble were given a talking to by the guard and apologised to Dom, in which he grudgingly accepted. Once everything was sorted, Dom set off again, but now he felt very silly for losing his temper. That evening in the shed, Mr. Harris spoke to Dom. I understand the trouble you went through today, Dom, but you shouldn't have gotten upset with those passengers. Dom stayed silent and looked away feeling even more embarrassed. As troublesome some passengers can be, you have to remember that without them, our railway cannot make money and would have to close. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. I'll do my best to put up with them in the future and to remain calm when dealing with situations like this. That's a good engine. Tomorrow you will be taking more passengers and I hope that journey will be better. And Mr Harris went home, leaving the engines to their idle chit-chat. I'm glad you've learnt your lesson, Dom. Even if something annoys you and you can't do anything about it, you just have to tolerate it. Yeah, you're right, Pav. But at least there was something I didn't do with them. And what might that be? Leave the train stranded in the middle of the line. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the laugh you are, okay, Dom. From that day afterwards, Dom never lost his temper with passengers again and always ignored any antics they performed. After all, it was better not to make a bad day even worse. <laughs>